Now, your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody. Hopefully, you're having a comfortable start to your Thursday. It's a cloudy start out there as we take a live look at our Mercy L SkyTrack camera over by the Rochelle Airport. We're starting off with mostly cloudy skies and definitely a decent breeze out there. There was a cold front that came through uh, earlier this morning, and that did boost our winds out there. Right now, sustained between 10 to 20 miles per hour out of the north and northeast. So if you're traveling out there this morning, that's going to be the main focus for the morning commute. You're definitely going to want to take extra caution, especially if you're traveling on east and west roadways because these winds are out of the north and northeast. So just make sure to have a firm grip on that steering wheel while you travel this morning, but otherwise have that heavier jacket before heading out the door. Temperatures may be in the upper 30s, but that wind out there making it feel a little bit cooler. Right now, wind chills in the upper 20s and low 30s. Feels like 28 in Freeport, 28 in Rochelle, 33 up in Janesville, and 29 out in Galena. But you can see the cloud cover out there despite a cold front coming in. We don't have any precipitation yet from that cold front. Very moisture starved and you can see that's only leaving us with mostly cloudy skies for the start of our day. Now towards the south a very dynamic system is underway. You can see this closed off upper level low that's spinning over the southern plains. It's actually taking what's left of what is now tropical storm Zay and pushing it into the mid-Atlantic regions, but all of this rain staying off towards the south. The main focus after today's windy stretch is going to be the cold temperatures that follow this cold front, because after that cold front passes through, that's going to be dropping temperatures into the 40s. We made it into the low 50s yesterday, but once we get into this afternoon, we're only going to see highs in the 40s once again, and that's going to continue for our day on Friday. In fact, temperatures are going to be well below average, about 10 to 15 degrees below average, for both Thursday and Friday, but then as we head into Halloween, we're going to see southwest winds warm us up close to the 60 degree mark, about three degrees above average. So let's take a look at that using Futurecast. I think we'll get that chance for a sprinkle or two with this morning's cold front right around midday, but overall we should stay mostly cloudy into the afternoon. Then after that, we'll see some clearing by this evening and also the winds that we see throughout the day are going to subside as well. Now tonight will be partly cloudy temperatures because of the clearing skies will drop into the upper 20s by tomorrow morning. So a cooler start to the day tomorrow, but then you can see that we do have some of that cloud cover that sticks around into tomorrow morning, breaking apart a mix of clouds and sunshine for our Friday temperatures. As I mentioned, staying in the 40s. Now as we take a look now at the winds for today, we are going to see those winds pretty high up there this afternoon. In fact, we could see wind gusts out of the north and northeast about 25 to 30 miles per hour at times starting around 10 o'clock and then stretching until this evening. We should start to see winds subside once we get towards 4 5 o'clock this evening. So today's forecast 46 degrees, mostly cloudy and windy at times. Definitely a chilly day out there as those winds are going to keep wind chills down into the 30s. 27 degrees tonight, gradual clearing early will lead to partly cloudy skies overnight and we'll start off with partly cloudy skies for our Friday. Now, mix of clouds and sunshine tomorrow. We'll see that continue into Halloween with a high of 59. Cold front does cool us down for the end of the weekend with a high of 42 Sunday, but 60s by next Tuesday. Back to you.